In this video, I'm going to go over how to use the remove function in C to delete a file. So the remove function is defined in the stdlib.h library. So the first thing I'm going to do is include that library. I'm going to allow the user to actually enter the file name that they want to delete. So I'll say car file name, and we'll make a character array with 100 characters. It should be more than enough to store a reasonable length file name. Then we'll prompt the user to enter the file name. So we'll say printf file. And then we'll store the file name they enter into that file name array. And then to call the function itself is relatively simple. We're just going to say remove. And then as the argument, we give the file name. We give the string that is the file that we want to delete. Now, if the function isn't successful, it's going to return negative one. If it is successful, it's going to return zero. So we could do a check here. We could say if remove doesn't equal zero, we know something has gone wrong. And we're going to handle that case here. Otherwise, we know that it's worked. So we'll say else printf percent s deleted slash n. And we'll put the file name here. So we're going to say file name was deleted. Just so that way the user knows that the file was deleted successfully. Now, if there was an issue, we can actually use C's error handling facilities to output what the error was. To do that, we're going to have to include another library. We're going to include this errno.h library. And then to output the error number and error itself, we can use the relevant functions from that library. So I'm going to say here f printf std err err no for error number percent d slash n and then err no so this is going to do a printf to std err that is the standard error output stream and by default it's going to be the terminal but it could be redirected to something else like a file and we're going to output the error number. We're going to say error number percent %d. And this errno, that's going to be set by the remove function if there is an error. And to get access to that value, we have to include this library. We can also output the error message. So we could say here, p error, and then we'll say error message. And this p error function will actually output the relevant error message for the error that has just taken place. So we'll save this here and then we'll compile it and we'll just give it a run here. So we'll say gcc o d d.c to compile it. And I've got a couple files here already. So I have a file called cant.txt and I'm gonna make a file called file.txt. So now I've got a file called file.txt there. Let's try to delete that. I'll say dot slash D, enter the file. I'll say file.txt, and it says file.txt deleted. If I do a check, I see that it's gone now. What if I try to delete can't? So I'm going to say dot slash D, I'm going to try to delete can't. It's going to say error number one and error message operation not permitted. And that's because I actually, previous to making this video, set up that file with permissions such that I can't delete it. So in other words, I use the Mac OS operating system to give that file permissions such that I can't delete it. And so it's not gonna let me delete that one. You can see that it's still there. If I try to delete a file that doesn't exist, we're also gonna get an error message. So I'll say dot slash D, I'll say file.txt, this time it doesn't exist. And we get another error message here, no such file or directory. And so this is how we could use the remove function in C to delete a file. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.